Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to part two of the Baby Alicorn tutorial. In this portion we will be doing her neck, okay? So let's start by taking two of each of the body color, okay? Starting here, we're going down ten times. Okay, two bands at a time, going all the way across all four columns. Okay, grab your head go through the middle section on the top, okay? We're not paying attention to the sets on the bottom quite yet. Wrap it around this peg here at the bottom, and then you're gonna grab the bands, but before you loop them onto the peg, grab two loose white bands and loop them on like that, okay? Then go to the next section. Make sure you go through all the loops it's very bad if you don't, especially for double looped bands. Okay, go through all the loops, wrap them around, and then again loop over. And this final set, wrap them all around, and loop over. Okay. Now, I'm going to take two more white bands, then I'm going to put them here. I'm going to dig down, and you're going to grab those two bands and loop them. Okay, you don't want those loose bands to fall off, okay? We're going to be attaching these bands all along the edge here, okay? This is how we're going to connect the two sides together. Okay, 
And once we've done that, we can just loop up the rest of the columns. Don't worry if my bands look messy down there, they are looped sometimes. They come off, sort of, once I've looped them, that's not gonna really matter at all. Don't feel like your bands have to look messy at the bottom like mine, I'm just looping them. Take your whatever color tying bands, doesn't matter, and tie off these four ends. Okay, so we did half of the neck, this is only half. Pull all those loose bands toward the center, okay, or to the edge, should I say, not the center, okay, like that. What? He's gonna be so cute! Okay, let's do the other side. I like to go crazy with my rainbow and things sometimes. <laughs> Okay, now let's do our horizontals, two at a time. Okay, now you're going to grab your guy again, you're going to go through, again, the center set that already went through the other side, you're going to go through that set again, where are you? Okay, so 
So the same set that already went through the other side, you're going to go through that set again and wrap it around this peg. Okay, and now you're going to go to the next one that we didn't wrap around anything yet. Come on. And the final set. Make sure she's right side up. Okay. Her head should not be upside down. Okay. And first we'll loop over these two. Then we'll dig down and loop over these two. And last but not least, we want to make sure we don't grab any of the loose bands on the other side of the neck, just these two. Loop them. Okay, and then we want to loop all the edge bands. We're not putting the loose bands on this side. We did that on the other side already. So now we can just loop up. And like we did on the other side, we're going to tie off the ends with a random color. Okay, so once we've done this, can take off the black tying bands up here. Not the red ones, just the black ones. Okay, now make sure all these bands on this side are pulled to the center. Now we're going to stitch the neck. <laughs> so, I'm going to hold her upside down and we're going to go through the first set here on this side. So I'm going through the four loops on this side, the side without the bands, then grabbing the two bands, pulling them through. Going through the next set of loops, grabbing the next two bands. Pulling them through. Okay, grabbing the next set. Sometimes it's tricky to see where the set is, but just do your best. Okay, pull them through. And the next set. Pull them through. So we're just stitching up the neck. I do a lot of stitching in my tutorials. So once we've gotten to the end, we're just going to stick our hook through any bands here, really. 
just pull those loose bands through. And gotta get another C clip. Grab a C clip and C clip those loops. Okay, then you want to punch the neck this way. Okay, and now we're going to do her little mane. Okay, now she's a baby, so I'm doing the mane a little bit differently from the adult, or attaching it a little differently. So I'm using my solar bands as well as my glitter bands in this part. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm taking um, clear glitter and I'm going to wrap it around my hook, creating four loops. Okay, then I'm going to take three of my solar blue and all my bands all messed up. Three of my glitter green. Put them on my hook, then I'm going to take the glitter clear band on my hook and pull those six bands onto the clear glitter as well as the cat band. Reclaim the other end of the clear glitter. Now I'm going to move on to the next color. So I'm taking three of the solar blue and then I'm taking three of the turquoise glitter that were in the twinkle light pack. Okay, Putting those on my hook, then taking another clear glitter and pulling those onto there as well as these. Recleaning. Okay, so we're essentially making like a chain here. Um, solar blue again, and now I'm going to move to the dark blue glitter from the twinkle dark mix. Okay, so we're just adding more on. You can make this as long as you want, but I'm just going to make it the length of the neck. Okay, and now I'm going to do the purple. So the solar blue and the purple, put them on. Take the clear, pull through and reclaim. Okay, so that is one set. So this is going to lay on here. So I have to make another set, maybe two, maybe two more. Aw, okay. So I'm going to go back to the solar blue and the glitter green. Put them on. So we're just going to continue this for a little while. Okay, then I'm going to do the turquoise glitter. The blue. And the purple. Oh, it's going to be so cute. I think I'm going to do one more set of each. Okay, so once you've made it long enough, or hopefully it's long enough, just tie off with another glitter clear or whatever. Or regular clear, it doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do with this end is I'm also I'm going to stick my hook through the cat band here. And I'm also going to tie off the glitter clear on here. Oops. 
we're going to glitter clear through here and slip knot it. Okay? I'm going to slip knot on each end. Okay, so now what I can do with this clear band here is from underneath stick my hook through, like up where it would come out, up where the main would start, which would probably be right behind the horn. So I'm going to stick it right behind the horn. And I'm going to pull that loop through the head down to the other side. Okay, so I pulled it down. And of course, I need a C clip. She just bring all the video. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just bring it down. Okay. So we'll C clip that loop for now underneath. And it's going to go along her, the back of her neck to here. Okay, so where it stops here, we'll take our hook and go through the end here, right in the middle, and pull the other tying band through. Okay. In fact, I'm just going to connect that to the same C-clip as I did with this one. Okay, it doesn't matter because we'll be filling this in with the neck eventually. Okay, like that. Now it's kind of hanging here, so if you want to just take more bands and just secure this area by uh, slip knotting them through the glitter clear in the main and then just pulling them through the center, you can do that. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Okay, and I'll probably do that several times. I might just end up attaching them all to the same C-clip, maybe. Okay, so I can also take one for this part here. So you kind of get the idea. I'm just, whoops, attaching them all onto a C-clip. You can attach them all onto different C-clips or the same one. Okay, just so the main is secure and it's not like flopping around weirdly on the head. I'm going to do one more here. Yay. Okay, so you have your little baby horse's mane. Aw, if you take her outside, she'll change color. So cute. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it. You're enjoying this tutorial. Go to the next part and we will continue working on her. Okay, see you over there, everyone.